This is my setup for making a miniature camshaft in the milling machine. I have my horizontal vertical rotary table set up on the mill with my tailstock. I've already cut two of the sets of lobes on the cam so this will be the final set. The camshaft is for a miniature three-cylinder engine. This is the cam blank with the first two sets of lobes already cut. I have a bushing with a flat surface mounted on the end of the cam for registration for every set of lobes. I start off by setting my rotary table at zero and then the part is inserted and indicated to get it true. The camshaft profile was created in AutoCAD and then a step-off chart was made and I start at zero and in progressive steps mill down to create the profile on the camshaft. The cam blank is inserted into the chuck. The rotary table, like I said, is set to zero. My reference piece is on there so I can set my relationship to the first set of lobes. The tail stock is lightly brought up in place, just enough to support the end of the shaft. The indicator is brought down. The shaft is rotated to get true zero across the registration face. One zero is established, the chuck is tightened. You have zero all the way across. The tail stop, make sure that it's snubbed up. My cutter has already been set from the previous cuts.
I go to my first dimension, which is 182 degrees, 45 minutes. first cup is 47 deep, and I go 42. Then proceed around. which is the final cut on my base circle. From there, I rotate following my chart, 7256. And adjust my height to 28,000. 8837. Thirteen hundred and four nineteen and nine. Then I go to the other side, a hundred and thirty five forty one at nine. 151.23 at 13 166.4 at 28 And that creates the low profile, after which the cam will be taken out and filed and polished.